Thank you for relying on AmeriWater for your water purification needs. In this video, we will cover the basic operation and maintenance of the Centurion, Centurion Cart, and Centurion Plus models. The Centurion by AmeriWater is a single patient reverse osmosis unit which supplies up to 0.4 GPM of purified water based on a feed water supply at 50 degrees Fahrenheit for hemodialysis or renal replacement therapies. The unit is fitted with an internal pump that pressurizes the water supply and forces it through a membrane, separating impurities. Purify water passing through the membrane, also known as permeate, goes to the dialysis machine and the rejected impurities are flushed to the drain. On the rear of the unit, you will find the cooling fan, key switch, USB port, on-off switch, fuses, power lead socket, and the acid cleaner inlet, water in, water out, water return, and drain ports. On the top of the unit, you will find the touchscreen display and two warning labels. You should not stand, sit on, or set anything on the unit. The operation of the Centurion by AmeriWater is controlled via the touchscreen display, which can be found at the top of the unit. The initial screen will have a menu and start button. Do not use sharp objects such as pens to operate the screen. Pressing the menu button will bring up the following user menu screen. There are six sub-menus which allow you to start to clean, adjust the time and date, reset the internal ultra-filter replacement date, and to see product information. The engineer and settings menus are pin protected and should only be accessed by trained and approved personnel. From the user menu and by using the up, down buttons, select time and date and then press the enter button. You can return to the user menu at any time by pressing the back button. From this menu, you can set the time, date, and date format. You can use the flashing cursor and the up, down buttons to select the numbers and then hit next to complete your changes. Pre-filter date will be used to provide users with a reminder to replace the ultra filter inside of the Centurion. The reminder shall be set to a six month interval. The product information screen shows the product details and software version numbers. It is for information only. Pressing the start button on the unit will go into processing mode and start to produce purified water and the screen here will be displayed. To begin an initial startup procedure, first carry out the pre-dialysis checks detailed in the user manual. Then switch on the unit using the on-off switch in the rear of the unit. Switch the unit to the one position. The touch screen will initially display initialization for a few seconds before showing the power on screen which displays the current date, time, model type, and any active messages. During initialization the unit will sound two beeps indicating that the audible alarm is functioning. To start the unit, select the Start button. The screen will change to Processing, which will display a mimic of the unit's operation. The unit will then carry out high flow flush to drain, followed by an internal permeate rinse. After 90 seconds, the permeate will automatically flow to the dialysis machine if connected. To stop the unit at any time, press the stop button on the screen. With the unit in standby for two hours, the unit will perform a 10 minute flush, which directs a high concentrate flow across the membrane to the drain for 30 seconds. After the 30 second shutdown flush, the screen will revert to the power on display. During the shutdown flush, pressing the stop button twice from the processing screen, will stop the unit immediately terminating the flush. Always ensure you press the stop button before shutting down the unit. Failure to do so may lead to water leaking from the unit while being transported. To access text about the current process while the mimic screen is displayed, press the function button at the top right hand side of the screen. This will in turn display permeate quality, temperature, flow rate, pump pressure, feed quality, and salt rejection. 
This information will be displayed on the status bar. Now we will discuss the two types of cleaning you'll need to be familiar with for your system, chemical cleaning and heat disinfection. Regular chemical cleaning and heat disinfection of the unit are recommended to remove minerals and bacteria that may have built up on the membrane. On the power on screen, select menu. The user menu will be displayed. Turn the key switch in the rear of the unit to the clean position. If this is not selected, the unit will revert back to the power on screen if a chemical clean is attempted. From the drop down user menu, select clean and press enter to proceed to the next step. Select chemical clean from the menu listing, then press the enter button. When the message, are you sure, is displayed, press yes. You will then be prompted to turn the key at the rear of the unit to the clean position. The chemical clean routine will then start. If you select no, you will return to the power on screen. The unit will automatically adjust the level of water in its internal tank before the chemical cleaning agent is added. This will only take a few seconds and automatically proceed to the next stage. Now disconnect the external water loop from the inlet of the dialysis machine to ensure that no chemicals can be fed into the dialysis machine. Press clean to continue to the next step. Once the cleaning solution is made, place the four millimeter tubing connected to the acid port at the rear of the unit into the bottle. Make sure the tube goes all the way down to the bottom. Press clean to continue to the next step. The chemical in the bottle will now be sucked into the unit. This should only take about 30 to 60 seconds. At the end, check to make sure the bottle is empty. The unit will automatically continue to the next step. To rinse the clear tubing, fill the bottle with tap water and replace the tubing back into the bottle and then press clean. The water in the bottle will be drawn up through the tube to rinse it free of chemical. The unit will automatically recirculate the cleaning chemical for approximately 30 minutes and then carry out both high pressure and low pressure flushing cycles. Please don't be alarmed if the unit sounds different from normal operation. At the end of the recirculation cycle, the unit will immediately go into a rinse cycle, flushing the cleaning chemicals out of the unit for approximately 45 minutes. The service flush cycle lasts for 10 minutes. If the clean button is not pressed within 10 minutes, it will repeat the service flush again until the water is acceptable. If the water shows clear of chemical, press the clean button to enter the final stage of the process. If the test will show positive, leave in flush mode until acceptable. During the chemical clean process, the alarm screen will be displayed along with a message relating to the possible fault. Pressing clean will resume the process if it is safe to do so. If pressing clean does not resume the disinfection sequence, or if the alarm screen keeps appearing, please refer to the user manual for troubleshooting. Once the water has tested clear of chemical, the next step will be to reconnect the external water loop back to the dialysis machine. Turn the key located in the rear of the unit to the service position. Press clean and this should take you back to the power on screen ready for your next dialysis session. Heat disinfection is recommended once per week with regular use. From the power on screen, select menu. Turn the key switch in the rear of the unit to the clean position. If this is not selected, the unit will revert to the power on screen if a heat disinfection is attempted. Select clean from the user menu list. Select heat disinfection from the menu listing, then press the enter button. When are you sure is displayed, press yes and the heat disinfection routine will start. If you select no, you will return to the power on screen. At the start of the cycle, the unit's internal tank will fill with water. The process bar at the bottom of each screen tells you how much of the disinfection cycle has completed. Alarm and warning messages will also be displayed. Once the unit's internal tank has filled with the correct amount of water, the following message will ask you to disconnect the distribution manifold connection from the dialysis machine. This will stop any chance of hot water from entering the dialysis machine and possibly causing any damage.
Select clean to continue to the next step. The unit will now carry out some internal safety checks. If all checks are complete, the unit will start to heat the water up. If the unit does not reach the temperature within 90 minutes, the unit will revert to a rinse cycle and the alarm message heat sand failure will be displayed. If this should happen, refer to the user manual for troubleshooting. When the unit reaches disinfection temperature, it will then continue to recirculate. The temperature of the water in the unit's tank and the temperature of the water recirculating around the distribution loop is also displayed. After the unit has performed its disinfection recirculation period, it carries out a rinse cycle until the water temperature reaches 95 degrees Fahrenheit. The unit must be 95 degrees or below for 10 minutes. If the temperature increases above 95 degrees during the rinse, the 10 minute counter will restart. Next, reconnect the distribution manifold to the inlet of the dialysis machine. Turn the key switch at the rear of the unit to the service position. Select clean to continue to the next step. After this, the power on state will be displayed and the message heat dis completed displayed. If the unit detects a fault during the heat disinfection process, this alarm screen will be displayed along with the message relating to the possible fault. Pressing clean will resume the process if safe to do so. If pressing clean does not resume the disinfection sequence, or if the alarm screen keeps appearing, refer to the user manual. The heat dis result screen will show the result of the last heat disinfection together with any failure message if relevant. If there is an interruption in the electrical supply, the chemical cleaning process will stop. Once the electrical supply is restored, a text screen message saying cleaning interrupted by power down will be displayed. Press clean to continue. This is to ensure that the unit is fully rinsed free of chemical before further dialysis can take place. It is recommended that regular checks are carried out on the unit and its performance to ensure safe and uninterrupted operation. Standard maintenance is listed in the user manual. The frequency of performing the checks indicated here and in the user manual should be considered as a guide only and will depend on how often the unit is operated over a period of time. The cart for Centurion is a compact solution to moving the pretreatment and Centurion to treat individual patients in acute settings. The cart is designed to carry the Centurion, cartridge pre-filter, carbon block filters, and all hoses and power cords needed to operate the RO system. The pretreatment system is designed to remove up to one micron sediment, chlorine, and chloramines from the incoming feed water supply. The Centurion cart requires minimal maintenance for your convenience. The cart can be wiped down with EPA approved low level cleaners and a soft non-abrasive cloth. Recommendations for filter replacement are provided, however filters may need to be replaced as needed based on total chlorine testing and differential pressure readings. Please note that depending on your feed water conditions and usage, filters may need to be replaced more often than mentioned here. Some components of the cart require monitoring to ensure safe and efficient usage. Gauges and carbon filtration should be checked daily. For more information, see the user manual. The AmeriWater Centurion Plus heat disinfection system is an optional accessory that can be paired with compatible portable reverse osmosis systems intended for use in hemodialysis applications to disinfect the dialysis machine's feed water hose. You'll find the connectors to use between the Centurion and the Centurion Plus in the backside of the unit. For a detailed list of these components and their uses, please see the user manual. The Centurion Plus disinfection cycle may be initiated based on a preset weekly schedule or instantly by the user. Weekly disinfection schedule will allow the user to set one disinfection per day for each day of the week. The RO must be running prior to disinfection cycle starting or the tank must be pre-filled with RO prior to cycle start. 
Initiation of the disinfection cycle is the only required user interaction during the disinfection cycle. To begin a manual disinfection, first verify that the feed water supply is connected to the Centurion Inlet. Press start on the Centurion. Wait 90 seconds for the system to begin producing RO water. Press start on the Centurion Plus display. Select yes on the confirmation screen to begin the cycle. When the Centurion Plus tank is completely full, the RO can remain on to supply the HD machine in rinse mode or RO can be shut off and the HD machine placed into rinse mode. Upon meeting the disinfection temperature set point, the Centurion Plus device will begin pumping hot water to the HD machine. If RO remains in operation during the entire preheat cycle, the HD machine feed water hose will begin receiving cold RO water at the conclusion of the Centurion Plus cycle. To begin an automatic disinfection, first verify that the Centurion Plus tank is full of RO water prior to the scheduled disinfection time. Schedule a disinfection for the desired time. Schedule will be repeated on a weekly basis. At that time, the device will automatically start a disinfection cycle. The HD machine should be ready in rinse mode approximately one hour and 15 minutes after the cycle has started. You can abort the cycle by pressing the abort button. It will send the user to an abort confirmation screen. When the abort is confirmed, the user will be sent back to the home screen and the abort will be logged in the alarm history log. Thank you for your interest in the Centurion, Centurion Cart, and Centurion Plus models from AmeriWater. If you would like more information about these products or any other of AmeriWater's quality water purification systems, contact us today at 1-800-535-5585 or at AmeriWater.com.